The Frogs and Their King In ancient times, the nation of frogs lived an easy free life among their lakes and ponds. But at length grew dissatisfied with such a continuance of undisturbed tranquillity and petitioned Jupiter for a king. Jupiter smiled at their folly and threw them down a log of wood and with a thundering voice said, There is a king for you! With this and the sudden splash it made in the water, they were at first quite panic-struck and for some time durst not put their heads up. But by degrees they ventured to take a peep and at length even to leap upon the log. Not being pleased with so tame and insipid a king, they again petitioned Jupiter for another, who would exert more authority. Jupiter, disgusted at their importunate folly, sent them a stork for their king, who, without ceremony, ate them up whenever his craving appetite required a supply. Application this fable is said to have been spoken by Aesop to the Athenians who had flourished under their commonwealth and lived under good and wholesome laws of their own enacting until in process of time they had suffered their liberty to run into licentiousness and factious designing men fomented divisions and raised animosities among them. When thus rendered weak Pisistratus took the advantage and seized upon their citadel and liberties both together. The Athenians, finding themselves in a state of slavery, thought their tyrant happened to be a merciful one and could not bear the thoughts of it. But Aesop, in reciting the fable to them, prescribes patience where there was no other remedy and adds at last, Wherefore, my dear countrymen, be contented with your present condition, bad as it is, for fear a change should make it worse.